welcome to the mathematics in my channel today we are going to solve another interesting and very famous integral integral from 0 to pi over 2 x over sin of x dx okay how to begin well first uh, we can write our integral is equal to integral from 0 to pi over 2 uh, x times now here 1 over sin of x we know cosecant of x so cosecant of x dx well then uh, I'm going to use integration by parts so as a first function I'm going to write uh, x and then we know d by dx now integration of cos cosecant of x uh, we know natural log of natural log of tan of x over 2 here dx okay then uh, product of these two functions so we can write um, x times natural log of tan of uh, x over 2 uh, from 0 to pi over 2 minus integral from 0 to pi over 2 now rewrite this function again here natural log of tan of x over 2 times now derivative of first function x we know 1 so here dx okay then uh, here we can plug in pi over 2 so tan of pi over 4 we know 1 uh, but natural log of 1 we know 0 if we plug in 0 here 0 so we know this term uh, will be 0 so now here we have minus times 0 to pi over 2 natural log of tan of x over 2 okay now uh, to evaluate this integral i am going to use a substitution so if we take x is equal to 2 times u now differentiate so dx is equal to 2 times du now we can plug in here so here uh, minus now uh, limit lower limit uh, when x approaches to 0 we know u also approaches to 0 upper limit when x approaches to pi over 2 we know u approaches to pi over 4 so pi over 4 here natural log of uh, tan of x over 2 x over 2 we know u so natural log of tan of u uh, then dx dx is equal to 2 times du so du 2 I am going to write outside of the integral sign okay then uh, we have another integral uh, and to evaluate this integral uh, i'm going to take uh, another substitution so if we take tan of u is equal to t then uh, differentiate we know secant square of u du is equal to dt also we know secant square of u is equal to 1 plus tan square of u so 1 plus uh, t square 1 plus t square du is equal to dt okay then uh, we can plug in here now uh, minus 2 now limit when uh, u approaches to 0 t also approaches to 0 upper limit uh, when u approaches to pi over 4 we know t approaches to 1 then here natural log of tan of u we know t so natural log of t now du du is equal to dt over 1 plus t square so 1 plus t square times here dt okay then hmm. now here we know this is equal to minus 2 times uh, integral from 0 to 1 now uh, instead of 1 over 1 plus t square i am going to use infinite series so we can write here uh, natural log of t times uh, sigma notation sum of n is equal 0 to infinity minus 1 to the n times t to the 2n dt okay then um, we can switch the integral sign and sigma notation so we can write here minus 2 uh, sum of n is equal 0 to infinity here minus 1 to the n so minus 1 to the n times integral from 0 to 1 now we have t to the 2n times natural log of 
t d t okay now uh, to evaluate this integral uh, also we can use a substitution so if we take now uh, v is equal to minus natural log of t then differentiate so dv is equal to minus 1 over t dt also we can isolate the t uh, here we know natural log of t is equal to v so t is equal to e to the minus v okay now we can plug in here here we have minus 2 infinite sum n is equal 0 to infinity minus 1 to the n power uh, integral uh, here uh, we know when t approaches to 0 uh, t approaches to 0 v approaches to infinity uh, and upper limit when uh, t approaches to 1 we know v approaches to 0 so here 0 now here t t we know e to the minus v so e to the minus v here 2n power so uh, minus 2n v times natural log of t natural log of t we know minus v so minus v then dt dt we know uh, dt we know minus minus uh, t times dv now t is equal to e to the minus v so e to the minus v dv okay then uh, we can simplify uh, now uh, we can switch the uh, lower limit and upper limit uh, when we change the limit this minus get cancelled so here 2 times uh, infinite sum n is equal 0 to infinity minus 1 to the n power uh, now integral from 0 to infinity uh, here we have e to the minus 2 n v then we know this minus this minus get cancelled and here e to the minus v so we can take uh, we can write e to the minus 2n plus 1 times v and here we have v d v okay now we have another integral uh, to evaluate this integral we can also use a substitution so if we take uh, 2n plus 1 times v is equal to w then uh, differentiate so we know 2n plus 1 times dv is equal to dw uh, then we can plug in here so here we have 2 times infinite sum n is equal 0 to infinity minus 1 to the n power now uh, limit uh, also 0 to infinity uh, here e to the uh, minus 2n plus 1 times v 2n plus 1 times v we know w so e to the minus w uh, times now here v v is equal to w over 2n plus 1 times here dv dv we know dw over 2n plus 1 okay then 2n plus 1 square is a constant so we can write outside of the integral sign so we can write 2 times n is equal 0 to infinity minus 1 to the n power over 2n plus 1 square times integral from 0 to infinity uh, w times e to the minus w dw and uh, here this is a well known integral we know this is equal to 1 and uh, we have uh, 2 times uh, this is familiar with us because we know this is Catalan's constant so the answer is 2 times g Okay, this is the answer. If you like my videos, please subscribe this channel. Thank you for watching.